Hey guys, what's happening? Um, the videos you're going to see this week have been pre-recorded, and they're mostly just reviews, so if you're not interested in reviews, feel free to skip them. I just want to say uh, thank you to each and every one of you for your thoughts and prayers and you know, in, in this tough time with my father. Um, thank you very much. All right today's video. Yes, it is another power bank video, but uh, I have high hopes for this one. See that symbol? That is the symbol for a Xiaomi, which is a huge Chinese company. They are like the uh, Chinese version of Samsung. So they have some really high quality products, probably the highest quality of all the Chinese manufacturers. And they contacted me and asked me if I would do a review and a teardown of this power bank. And I said, sure. So I know this is very light, this gray on white, hard for you guys to see. Anyway, what it says is it'll charge the Xiaomi Mi5 phone two and a half times. It'll charge an iPhone 6 four times, an iPad mini 1.5 times, two-way quick charge, uh, what the hell does that say? Uh, two, approximately two hours small current discharging. Approximately three and a half hours of 18 watt current discharging. So this is model PLM03ZM. Input type C, output USB-A. Input 5 volt 2 amp, 9 volt 2 amp. 12 volt 1.5 amp output 5 volt 2.4 amp 9 volt 2 amp 12 volt 1.5 amp now i don't have anything that uses quick charge so we can't test that but yes we will be testing this 2.4 amp output capacity cell capacity 10,000 milliamp hours at 3.85 volts or 38.5 watt hours so we know we should be seeing somewhere around 7,500, 8,000 on a full charge on this once you uh, add in the boost converter. Oh, look, scratch for security code. I don't know why it has a security code, but okay. All right, so there's my security code. <laughs> Whatever, right? So we'll open this guy up here. Very nice packaging, very reminiscent of Apple with the plain white packaging. Uh, what we got here? Terms and policies. User manual. Okay, user manual is um, written in very good English. It tells us what's going to be happening when we're charging. If the power level is 0 to 25%, it'll be blinking. LED 1 will be blinking. The rest will be off. If it's 25 to 50%, LED 2 blinking. The rest off. 50 to 75, LED 3 blinking. 75 to 96, LED 3 blinking. Fully charged, they will all be on. And if there's a charging error, they will all be blinking. Okay, that's an anti-counterfeit label. All right, so we got that. Good. Okay, so in the little side pouch, we have a USB Type-C cable, which also has... Oh, how do I, much do I love this? This is, this is perfect. Look at that. That is USB Micro with a little USB-C adapter on it. That's brilliant. I love that. So here's the device itself. We've got our USB-C input, our USB-A output. This is metallic, 10,000 milliamp hours. We power it on. All 
All right, let's uh, let's plug in and see what happens. Let me zoom in here for you guys so you can see this better. Okay, so we're outputting nothing. We're outputting nothing. That's what we're outputting. Let's try that again. All right, so we're we're coming up there, 140 milliamps. No worries. Let's crank this up a little bit. So there we are at about a half amp and 5.7 volts. Very steady. No worries. Three quarters of an amp or so. 5.04 volts. Still no worries. Take it up to a full amp. Right at five volts. No worries. Now, at 1.45 amp, we've dropped a little bit. We're down to 4.96 volts. And it's a little bit concerning, but not too bad. All right, we're up to one and three quarter amp. A little over. And we're still at 4.92 volts. No big deal. Take her up to two amp. Okay, 4.89. So at two amps, we're you know, we're out of the ballpark really. And then let's find out where she really drops off. There's 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6. Wow, holding the 2.5. I mean, granted, we're out of the, we're out of spec for USB. Uh, charging, but you know, four point eight three will still give you a charge for your phone. Don't worry about it. Look at that, we're right up. Oh, and three amps, and she crapped out on me. But you know what? That's that's seriously impressive. Three amps. You know what we have to do now? We got to see what's inside. Okay, I'm gonna try and get in here with the the spudger but there just really isn't any room to get that spudger in there Let's see if we can get in there with a bit of a blade definitely want to be careful doing this you don't want to poke into that battery because that could be Somewhat explosive, and if not explosive, at least flammable. Make no doubt about that. All right, get in here, we'll get our spudger under, and then we'll see what it takes to get. Okay, so we got two little screws down here. Nothing much to worry about there. I'm glad that plastic plate is on there to prevent any unhappy accidents. And there appears to be another plastic plate in there and then there's some sort of some sort of something that appears to be going to block our way oh sticky sticky looks like they've used some double-sided tape here okay that's interesting looks like this might have had another Another port here. All right, looks like we're going to slide out the front. This is very nice construction. 
nice plastic case with some metal shielding slides in there very nicely we've got some foam tape here for padding let's get in nice and tight on the circuit board all right we're taking a close-up look at the board here and you can see three particular ICs uh, this first one is marked ZMG1206 USB-N which is a quick charge chip the second one is the BQ25895M which is a fast charge chip now I'm not up on this fast charge quick charge technology so I don't know why there would be two of these on board and finally over here this is the S61088A this is a 10 amp synchronous boost converter that's a pretty big uh, boost converter so this thing is capable of some output power in fact I mean if you take a look at these battery connects here those are about 3 eighths of an inch wide that'll take some juice there are two other smaller ICs here there's this one right here which is marked uh, 2068 that's a dual op amp and this one up here, which I can find no information on whatsoever. So I'm going to remove the board and we're going to take a look at the back side and see where the protection circuit is. All right, so this is as far as I'm comfortable removing this in the confines of my home, which I don't like to be burnt down. We can see our LEDs here and our protection ICs down in here there's our output port power switch input and a couple of really big diodes down in there I know those are kind of hard to see but I can't really get any more light down in there alrighty after an all-night charge we're showing 75 or 7,500 out of the 10,000 so that's pretty close to a full charge and I'm perfectly happy with that this is a nice quality well-built power bank from Xiaomi which I expected nothing less from them as I said they are basically the Samsung of China so I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.